Welcome back, everybody. Well, President Obama telling Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. is, quote, reassessing its policy with Israel. This just days after Mr. Netanyahu's resounding re-election and after comments that he would not support a Palestinian state as part of a peace deal with Israel. It's the very latest in a very public rift between two world leaders and a major strain on a key relationship in the Middle East. Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate on the future of U.S. diplomacy in the Middle East, Fox News contributor Angela McGlowan and radio show host Mark Levine. Welcome, both of you. Great to have you here. Thank you, Emma. This has been like a soap opera that's been playing out over the last several days. I mean, certainly a lot of people taking notice about the diplomatic overtures that Mr. Netanyahu is making at the same time the White House response. Now, the bottom line is, Angela, yes. that Mr. Netanyahu won a resounding victory yes. and that this White House seems to continue to uh, single him out as the bad boy and trying to issue uh, ultimatums if you don't get in line, so it, to speak. It's not good that President Obama is actually posturing but that's what he's doing, his political posturing, because he said we're reassessing. He didn't say we're changing policy, we're reassessing. These guys have to come together. They're leaders, they're politicians. And I think right now they've made it personal, both of them, but they're our strongest ally, Israel, in the Middle East, and we need them and they need us. That's very true. When the United States says it's reassessing, and one of the things that people are focusing on is about the fact the relationship that the United States has with Israel in the United Nations, with the Security Council votes, United Nations, the United States always backing Israel uh, up against the others who are so pro-Palestinian uh, and pro-Arab. Uh, how do you think this is going to play out, and what's the impact from your point of view? Well, I hope we don't change anything fundamental in the relationship, and actually I don't think we will. I think the United States-Israel alliance is strong. Yes, there's no question. Prime Minister Netanyahu, Barack Obama, John Boehner, they don't really like each other very much. But the relationship of the United States and Israel is fundamental. It will outlast any what? disagreements. You know, Ronald Reagan and Menachem Begin didn't like each other very heart. much. You don't know what's in Boehner's heart. You really don't. No, but I, I know mean, that John Boehner is trying... seem like they have you know, a relationship, but you yeah. can't say that they don't like each other. I know that John Boehner was trying to use this issue very much to embarrass President Obama. You know, I, I, Angela, I said there was a real He's good a answer. Exactly, they're all but politicians let me ask you this, but, but no, acting like politicians. To, uh, to counter that, though, how do you know that he was using it to embarrass this White House at a time when it's a legitimate concern yeah. about Iran having nuclear weapons, the fact that negotiations are going on right now, and Mr. Netanyahu is one of the few outspoken world leaders really going on the offensive, warning the world about a possible nuclear Iran. Iran is a legitimate concern, and frankly, I think both Barack Obama and Prime Minister Netanyahu share that concern. I think they disagree on the strategy. President Obama thinks the best strategy is to reach an agreement with, uh, with Iran, and Prime Minister Netanyahu says it's a bad deal, so they disagree on the best way to, to confront that. But in terms of John Boehner, look, all he had to do was inform the White House, say, I want to invite Prime Minister Netanyahu. They could have found a way. They could, have right done it. To they could have done him. it after the Israeli election and before the conclusion of negotiations but, but with Iran. They could that? have worked it out. When Uma just said clearly States. that there's a problem in the Middle East. Yes, with everything is. going the on, the stakes are quite high. But the stakes why are high. can't may Speaker I, Boehner work with President Obama? May, may I, may I, I think finish? The stakes are quite, quite high, and Congress has the power. To, to appropriate funds to protect this country. Yes. So they should have heard from Netanyahu. He's still we the prime minister, even though he had to have. run for office, he was still the prime minister at that time. Here's my point. Speaker Boehner was purposely poking President right. Obama in the eye. That's kind of past okay. though. Let's go, let's go forward, okay. because certainly uh, Netanyahu is enjoying a very big victory. <laughs> no question. And there is gonna have to be some kind of a reset between the two leaders right now. The president still uh, waited a few days before actually congratulating him, although British Prime Minister uh, David Cameron immediately called him, and so did others. I, uh, what? What does that serve in terms of this is uh, in terms of the optics on this? And stuff, what, but but no, stuff. but the optics in terms of how is this interpreted by uh, those who are anti-Israel out Look, there in the Middle East? He, how, when he, they want to be able to use this say, use this against uh, Israel? This says he's pro-diplomatic. That's not very diplomatic of him. 
to actually wait to congratulate the man. And then also there are allegations out there that our own State Department gave tax dollars, allegations that is, no to an organization in Israel to actually defeat Netanyahu. There's no evidence There are a lot of reports of that there were operatives in, from the United States trying to uh, disrupt that election. Some well, of them is alleg the, the, some of the, some of those tied to the allegations opponent. tied to the White House, nothing proven though. But at this point, the fact that even that perception is out there. Uh, you know, the president says we don't want to interrupt with protocols, you know, we, you know, in terms of the election coming up, that's why mm -hmm. I'm not going to meet with him. And yet, mm -hmm. behind the scenes, he is, you know, allegedly working behind the scenes to disrupt the election. So. To be fair, Prime Minister Netanyahu has been a bit of a bad boy. The things that he said, <laughs> no, what he said about Arab Israeli citizens, uh, many of whom are very loyal to the state of Israel, saying they're coming out voting in droves, we have to vote against them, kind of reminded me of some of the things that Republicans sometimes say. He didn't say vote against say. them. He said they're coming out. They're coming out in droves, we need to pull our people out. That's there was an implication that they shouldn't <laughs> be voting. And, and in a democracy like Israel, Arab Israelis have he every right to, to vote. He was trying to get out the vote, which yes, you liberals was. are famous in doing. Do you yes, remember but you Acorn? Do, but you know the best <laughs> okay. thing to do when you're trying to get out the vote, instead of demeaning your opponents. He did opponents, demean them. He was getting out the vote. Well, I think what he was doing was he was implying they shouldn't be voting. Hmm. And I, I don't think that's the right thing to do. If you, if you want to win, what you do is you say to your supporters, get out and support me and or change your policies, perhaps, to appeal worship. to Arab That's what Israelis. he was saying. He, d he didn't want to defeat, get out and vote for me, if you want me to win. I, I think it went a little too far. All right, the election's over. Yeah. <laughs> Give me real two, in the few seconds I have left. Do you think we're going to be able to move forward in I a do. very positive way? I do. Uh, is, or is it going to take time, Angela? L listen, we all want to say for America, and they want to say for Israel, and President Obama and Netanyahu, they're going to have to make up. The U.S.-Israeli alliance is strong. And remember, Netanyahu praised President Obama for the help with the Iron Dome system and the war against Hamas. So behind the scenes, they really are working together, even if in front of the cameras, they don't get along. All right. Thank you very much for joining us for a very lively discussion, lively debate as always. Of course, uh, this is something we're going to be watching very closely yes. because, as we pointed out, the stakes are quite high at this point Absolutely. for the world. All right. Thank, thank you, you both. Thanks so much.